Hey guys, in this video, we're going to have a look at the code of the scroll wheel. And here we are importing the module in the main file. And here is our CPP file of the scroll wheel. And here is a header file. First, let's take a closer look at the circuit. We have here our scroll wheel. And the scroll wheel has also a button inside it. And the button is a part of the finger module matrix on which we are talked about in the last video. And in this video is going to be about scrolling forward and backwards the scroll wheel. Let's go back to the code. As always here is the class of the module. And inside we have initialize function and read encoder. Encoder is the scroll wheel. These are our pins which are connected to the scroll wheel. And this is our scroll wheel matrix depending on the left side or right side. Let's quickly have a look at the links app file. Here are the indexes of the scroll wheel. So 41 would be scroll forward and 43 scroll backwards. And 42 is the button of the scroll wheel. And as said before, the button runs inside the finger module, not inside the scroll wheel module. And again here, we're switching those if it's on the other side. Now let's go to the CPP file. First we have the initialize function to setting up all the pins. And here we are reading the first state of the encoder A pin. And here is the read encoder function. First we are checking if the scroll wheel is moving. Here we are checking in which direction it goes. And then we are actuating or deactuating the forward scroll or backward scroll. And one thing to mention, in this part when we are actuating an event, it doesn't have to be an actual scroll wheel event. It also can be just a letter or maybe a shortcut like control S for save or something like that. It will be more clear if we look at the event module. So that's it for the scroll wheel module. Bye bye.